everybody. Jeffrey Hauser. Re Reboot 711 plays. I don't think I've said that through this playthrough yet. Follow me. I am continuing to play through Whispered World. I am just starting part four. And here I am. That was a really impressive ride. I still can't believe we arrived safely. I can't go back yet. I have a mission to fulfill. One branch is enough. Corona. Finally, I have arrived. The only thing now is to find a way in. I've come such a long way, and now I'm going to die. Slumped in front of this gate. Fate is probably sitting on its front porch, sipping cocoa, looking down on me, and laughing. Mm. No lock, no handle. No inbuilt mechanism. I've managed to open quite a few doors. But this is the mother of all doors. What on earth should I do? I can take Spot for a walk after the world has ended. Would you mind checking how far down it goes? A little more enthusiasm wouldn't hurt. We have an important mission, you know. Slimy. Uh, nature, as usual, provides me with an abundance of useful items. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's see if I can unlock this gate with this stick from the other side. A piece of cake. Are you crazy? This is the royal castle's gate. A naughty ass gills latrine door. I have to come up with something better. There's a gap beneath the door. But I doubt I can repeat my famed tray routine here. I don't have a tray, and the door has no key. Hey, Spot. Can you help me open the gate? I have no idea. Who knows what awaits you in there? Fun things for sure, though. It won't be easy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And, hey, Spot, if you manage to do it, I'll take back some of the things I said about you. Good luck, buddy. Hello, little friend. What are you doing here? You'd better find yourself a place to hide. Things could soon get very unpleasant around here.
Look at this mess. I'm completely soaked. Just wait, you little monster. Shoo! Shove off! You've done enough harm already. Hey! Leave my rags alone! Hey! Leave my rags alone! Shoo! You've done... Hey! Leave my rags... Leave my rags alone. Shove off! You've done enough harm already. Hey! Shoo! You've done... Shoo! Shove off! You've done enough harm already! Shoo! Shove off! You've done en- Shoo! Shove off! You've done enough harm already! Shoo! Shove off! You've done en- Hey! Leave my rags alone! Leave my rags. Hey! Shoo! Shove off! You've done enough. Shoo! You've done. Leave my rag. Shoo! Shove off! You've done enough harm already. Shoo! You've done... Hey! Hey! 
Leave my rags. Hey. You've done enough harm already. Hey, leave my rags up. Hey, leave my rags alone.
Well, you don't see things like that every day. Well done, Spot. You really did it. I suppose it wasn't all that hard, but I'm proud of you all the same. Um, hello? Hello? Heavens, it's all deserted here. Where could the king be? How did Spot manage? The gate's open, and I like it. How did Spot... A deep, dark shaft, much like my life. How? The crank is missing. I won't throw that away. Besides, I might still need it. I wonder why that's here. Seems to be of virtually no use. No, Spot. You can play with a seashell later. We've got more important business right now. Sedwick? What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm doing your job. Saving the world and so on. Oh dear, Sadwick. It's way too late for that. Yeah, whatever. You may as well rescind your responsibility. I will at least try, if you don't mind. If the world really has to end, at least it won't be my fault. You foolish plucky clown. Whatever have I drawn you into? You'd better hide. Quick! What's going on anyway? The end is near. The Askil are attacking. I know. I've just escaped from their hideout. You've been inside the Askil's fortress? And you're still alive? I don't know if you can call it living. We could still prevent it. I've got the Whispering Stone, remember? You still have it? I mean, <laughs> of course you do. I've been planning this right from the beginning. Which makes it all the more tragic that you're too late. <sighs> but don't be sad. I knew it was a risk involving an amateur. Right. Your plan was great, but it was me who dawdled too long, wasn't it? Don't be hard on yourself. I'm proud of you nonetheless. After all, you're not a chasky like me. Where is the king? He locked himself in his chambers. In order to get there, you'll have to go from the throne room through the astrolab. I'm afraid he's not well at all. What's wrong with the king? Nobody knows for sure. Perhaps the impending doom is eating him. Only one thing is certain. He is very weak. I'm not making any progress. Can't you help me somehow? Sadwick, Sadwick, Sadwick. I can't always do all the work for you. Right. My lack of self-reliance must be a terrible burden on you. Oh, forget it, little friend. I taught you everything a Chasky has to know. You'll get by without me. I bet I'll be sorry I asked, but... How did you get here? Ah, yes. That's a long and thrilling story. Ah. Uh... Now. Where shall I start? What happened at the shore? The shore? Oh, yes. I remember. Like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. I'd been sitting there alone for quite some time, practicing a secret chasky technique. Microsleep. I can do it under three seconds if my stomach's empty. Anyway, a cloud suddenly appeared in the sky. A gust of wind blew up strongly, and I began to shiver. I drew my knife and took out a couple of bombs that I still had in my backpack, just in case. I was all prepared when I heard a cracking sound from the underbrush. I tensed every muscle, and then... And then... Then I dropped everything, grabbed the backpack, and ran as fast as I could. What? When I turned around, I saw only a fox. But I had already left my hiding place. I was sure the Asgil had seen me. That's why I never turned back. It was simply too dangerous. Too dangerous? Too... 
dangerous. I thought you had gotten into a fight. <laughs> Never. I'm too clever for that. You must mean gutless. I can't believe it. I traveled half of the world after you just because you were scared of a fox? It was a very big fox. Ah! Oh. How did you escape the Askill? The Askill? I haven't been to the Askill's fortress. You haven't? But the guard told me about a scrawny green prisoner. Scrawny? How did you get the idea that could have been me? I work out regularly. I'm way too fit to let myself get caught by the Askill. So you somehow outran them. Is there a chase? You bet. At least, if by outrun, you mean hiding a key. And by chase, you mean collecting berries. How did you get back to Corona? On secret Chasky trails. Let me guess. You vanished in the thin air, and the wind blew you here? No, I had my hearthstone still set on the courtyard. I didn't hear that. What? Did I say anything? And that's what you call an adventure? No, I call that routine. As a Chasky, you experience so many incredible things. Not every critical situation gets you worked up anymore. <sighs> Obviously. And that's exactly the reason why you sit here so placidly. That's right. Even though the end is near and the Askill are attacking? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one of them is even now... Standing right behind you? What? <laughs> yes, yes. You almost got me there, didn't you? You have to get up very early if you want to pull a Chasky's leg. A ten o'clock, too. Let's say eleven. I like to sleep late. I think I've heard enough. I know. My hair-raising adventures are not for the faint-hearted. You're hiding in a barrel? Is that how a Chasky behaves? Don't let your eyes fool you. This here is a Chasky survival barrel. The legendary Chasky, Shoshi, once traversed the mighty Drummel Falls in one of these. At a safe distance from the falls, I presume. Why, of course. You might as well stay here. I'll go and save the world. Always adhere to what I taught you. It looks better than the stuff Grand. Uh, yuck. No, I'd rather have Mildew's soup. It looks particularly content. It doesn't seem to care that the world is about to end. Ah, the life of a cow. I'd need an appropriate vessel for milk. And more importantly... Once again, there's no handle. This door has a peculiar door knocker, though. Unfortunately, it's defective. The ring is missing. The door doesn't have a lock. Only this defective door knocker. As long as the door knocker is in... No, the only thing... The wind is blowing from, uh, the yeast. Wait a second, that's not how the royal insignia is supposed to look. It's all mixed up. And one part's missing. And who will have to fix it?
This tapestry is hung on a bar. It can be moved, obviously. There's a gap. Hang on. There seems to be something behind it. Hmm. There really is something behind this shield. Let's see. Phew. I can't do it. This tile looks a little... The floor wasn't fixed properly. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. I can't get my fingers. There's simply two... Ugh. I can't remove the floor tile with this. I need a tool with more leverage. Well, what have we here? A keyhole. A secret royal compartment, maybe? It would be a rotten lock if I could open it with my... The throne is empty. Where's the king? No, I'm not worthy of that. Have door handles gone out of fashion that badly? Phew! Mm. That's not necessary. I can easily manip- But it's like, uh, ex- Uh, no. I just can't manage the gaps to- Locked doors. Hey, Spot, can you help me get this shield off the wall somehow? There, A and now? Ha! As I suspected all along. A... wait for it. A secret mechanism. Interesting. The counterweight for that gate over there hangs from this chain. I'd better keep my hands off it. When the grate comes crashing down... The lever is stuck. You! Are you the royal astronomer? I own? I own? What's that supposed to mean? Bervigus Isaac Ogre O Iver? What? Bervigus Isaac Ogre O Iver? Uh, yeah, exactly. Thanks, Ogre. I own and so on. To Iver, too. Oh dear. Obviously, the astronomer speaks a foreign language. Astronomic or something.
May I ask a question? May I ask? That must have been very expensive. May I ask? A deep, dark shaft, much like my life. Nothing to collect the well. The gearbox seems to be all right. I'd better not mess with that. That's quite impressive. I have to admit, I'm deeply daunted. Oh, I have to be very careful. I wonder if I can do it without using something else. You use it by putting something... Oh dear, it's all mixed up. <sighs> all right, go for it. Hello? Can you really not understand me? What? How? Uh, wait a second. I can understand you after all. <laughs> yeah. Loud and clear even. How fortunate. Uh, let's hope it's not too late yet. Too late? For what? We've got big trouble. The king, the fountain, the fabric of space and time. Hold it, hold it. Um... Why don't you start from the beginning? Who are you, anyway? I am the royal astronomer. The king would have been better to hire a couple of soldiers. Where's the rest of the staff? They fled. So what are you still doing here? What do you think? I'm keeping my calm! If the world is ending anyway, it makes no difference where I am, does it? But if a hero happens to show up to save the world, he might need help. So, you know what to do? In theory, yes. But before you get your hopes up too high, our chances are slim. Where can I find the king? You can't at the moment, I'm afraid. He's retreated to his chambers. And those are behind this door, right? That's right. But the door can only be opened when there's water in the fountain. And the fountain is broken, I bet. One could say that, yes. What's wrong with the king? It doesn't look good. The king is very weak. He needs 
the water of life. But the fountain has run dry, and the waiter's chambers is blocked. One would have to repair the fabric of space and time. That would get both the fountain and the door working again. Unfortunately, only the king himself can do that. That sounds like a vicious circle. There is no possible solution. Like I told you, it doesn't look good. What's the trouble with the fountain? The fabric of space and time has ripped. And by fabric of space and time, you mean... The model of the planetary system. Over there. It's a very powerful object. It not only drives the fountain, it also represents our planetary system. It's almost a perfect model. How exciting for an astronomer. Don't be fooled. Planetary movement. Times of the day, cycles of the year. This model measures the very heartbeat of our world. In doing so, it reaches such a level of accuracy, you could almost say that the world acts in accordance with it. One thing's for sure, mind you, they both influence each other. The world acts in accordance to the model? Yes! Isn't that fascinating? Does that mean if somebody was to repair the model, the end would be prevented? In theory, yes. But only somebody of royal blood could do something like that. It's far too important. But a king is locked behind this door. Yes. Which won't open. You're right. Because the model of the planetary system is broken. That is the problem. Heavens! Whoever conceives these absurd mechanisms all the time? I could help, couldn't I? <laughs> you! Don't make a fool of yourself! Only the king is important enough to repair the model of the planetary system. But the king isn't here. Let me at least try. What possible harm could there be? Could the world end twice? Hmm, that's a valid thought. There, just tell me what to do. There are a couple of things. <sighs> like always. First of all, there is no oil for lubrication. Without oil, it can't be cranked up. Much worse, though, is that one of the planets is missing. The Whispering Stone. Did you say Whispering Stone? Yes. It represents our planet in the space-time continuum. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's lost. I've got some bad news. That's not very uncommon these days. But never mind. Fire away. The Askill are planning an attack. We'd better hurry then. Only the king can save us from the Asgill. Spot has followed the Whispering Stone. What are you saying? You know where the Whispering Stone is? And um, not exactly. My pet has swallowed it. Oh no. Say it's not true. We need the stone to repair the fabric of space and time. Without it, we're dead in the water. I should have fed him in time. Your lamenting doesn't help. You'd better come up with something. In the meantime, I look for my dissecting instruments. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll find another way. It has been prophesied to me that I'll destroy the world. And that brings you running straight to the control room of the universe? I don't want to criticize too harshly, but it doesn't sound as if you've given it much thought. I'm not a hero, just an untalented clown. Oh, hmm. A clown, you say? Yeah. Not a hero? Not a prince? No. Just a clown, and not even a good one at that. Do you at least have a birthmark? Or, or a peculiar scar? Nothing of that sort. Well, it's really bad then. I could go on talking about- It looks very bad indeed, my friend. Nice ear trumpet. <gasps> what are you saying? <sighs> all right, all right. I have a few questions. Didn't you listen? I did, but it's a lot of it. All right, what exactly is the problem? I crap. You do that. I... So why... Go on, go on. That must have been very... 
Can I look through that queue, please? Uh, no. No. Obviously. What kind of a sch That's a schematic view of our planetary system. It shows the five planets. Avrius, Pornitus, Vernicus, Silentia, and Rubble. Which one is which? You can tell them apart by their size. You can also distinguish them by their color, composition of elements, and their names. But their size is all that's depicted here. Everyone knows that. Hmm. Hey! Stop that! Don't you dare mess up my notes! It's important! What kind of a sketch is this? That's a schematic view of our planetary right. system. Right. It shows the five planets. Avrius, Pornitus, Vernicus, Silentia, and Rubble. Which one is which? You can tell them apart by their size. You can also distinguish them by their color, composition of elements, and their name. But their size is all that's depicted here. Everyone knows that. Hmm. What kind of a sk That's a sk It shows Avrius, Pornitus, Vernicus, Silentia, and Rubble. Which one is which? You can tell them apart by their size. You can also dis- But their size- Everyone- Hmm. This crescent is quite sharp-edged. Here we go. Here's a volume about astronomy. Let's see. Ernicus? is bigger than Frubble, but smaller than Avrius. The planet in the middle is called Pornitus. It's the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Pornitus. Silentia is the second planet in the system, but it's not the second smallest. Frubble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. Here's a volume about astronomy. Let's see. Ernicus is bigger than Frubble, but smaller than Avrius. The planet in the middle is called Pornitus. It's the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytus. Silentia is the second planet in the system, but it's not the second smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh-huh. That's quite impressive. I have to admit. Include. I'm not going to touch anything. The gearbox seems. I'd better not.
Yeah, uh, that... Hey, there really was a secret compartment in the throne. Oh, boy. I can't wait to look inside. Well, let's have a look, then. Hey, what's that? Some pliers, a handsaw, and a crowbar. That's not the secret royal compartment. That's the secret royal toolbox. It's empty now. It's empty. Even I can manage this. Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Uh, well, never mind. Who needs shoulder joints when I have a mosaic tile? It matches perfectly, but the color doesn't match. The missing piece has to be blue. But not just any kind of blue. It has to be the light royal blue. Have door handles gone out of fashion? That's not right. Mm -mm. Phew. I'm too weak to break the door open. A deep, much like... What for? Be careful not to fall in the... You know how clumsy... Be careful not... You know how... What for? I... Sh There at last. No. No sign of a hidden... You should play safe whenever you open a strange chest. I can't read. Those are the five elements from left to right. Vernon, Aphrium, Silentium, Pornitium, and Fram. You can tell them apart by their color. Oh dear, there are open tube ends everywhere, from which steam and I only see two cork stoppers. I should repair that immediately.
What's this? A color blender? Oh my, that's going to be fun. Maybe I can blend the paint to make the color from the insignia. Blue! The light royal blue. Don't give up. We have to fo- To repair the fabric of- First of all, we have to extract the Whispering Stone from you. Maybe I can blend the pe- Blue! The l Maybe that's the way to extract the Whispering Stone from him. Don't act up. It's your own fault, after all. Hey! Stay here! Heck, it doesn't work that way, obviously. He's had enough already. Spot's food doesn't need to be- I think he's got- Those are the five elements, from left to right. Vernon, Aphrium, Silentium, Pornitium, and Fram. You can tell them apart by their color.
I'd better leave it here. Vernon, Aphrium, Silentium, Pornitium, and Fram. Super blurry, but it looks like red, purple, brown, yellow, green. All right, though it's not exactly light royal blue, at least it's blue. Didn't I produce enough shards already? There's a hole in the bucket, yeah.
I believe I could repair that by hand. I'd better have a closer... It's completely burnt. Come, at it's not a someone has to go, and who would be more quiet? A cow over. Sadwick, how's progress? I met the astronomer. I will fix the essence of space and time. I... I thought only the king could do that. Well, I'll try anyway. Uh, that's very noble of you. Useless, but noble. I truly taught you a lot. You might as well... I always adhere to what I taught. The cow has enough food. He's had enough already. Yeah. A deep, much like my life. I can't do anything more here, but the way things work... They... It's empty now. There you are again. Did you accomplish anything? I have a few questions, didn't you? I did. I thought it's a lot of... All right. What exactly? I can't get to the Whispering Stone. Well, at least we know where it is. All we need now are my dissecting instruments. Or a... Preferably one that leaves my... Ha! It's too late. To we have a mission. I can't find any oil. Have you tried the alchemy lab in the adjoining tower? <sighs> My brother used to distill oil from olive pits there. I can't think of anything else at the moment. Your brother? Yes. He was the royal alchemist of the court. What became of him? He died of natural causes. Well, natural for an alchemist. <laughs> His boots were still smoldering at the funeral. How can I get this thing? Well, that shouldn't be up. The crank must be lying around here somewhere. But make sure the planets are aligned in the right order. And the planetary system is thoroughly greased. If there is even the slightest mistake, it could all end in catastrophe. Hi, Crap. You do that. I... So why are you... Go on. I don't want to pour it away. It was quite a hassle to get to that stuff.
chalk is water, but the chalk is too solid like that to mix up. Hmm, why not? Great. Now I have chalk powder and blisters on my fingers. Let's see. It worked. I made some white paint. The light royal blue must be somewhere in between. Hmm, maybe I should try blending these two. Hey, way to go! I did it! Light royal blue. Light royal blue is the perfect color for my mosaic tile. Much better. It matches perfectly. The mosaic is now complete. Hey, what kind of a sound was that? I think it came from the door back there. Another secret mechanism? Oops. Oh, dear. Now I must have... Oh, my. I'm sorry. I know I wanted a hand, but... <laughs> this fellow has been locked up for quite some time, it seems. <laughs> that looks far from comfortable. Ouch! Heck, I can't get the nails off without a proper tool. Let's extract some teeth from this patient's jaws. That looks... I already destroyed... Good job. No need to. The cage is open, but still not very inviting. Hmm, and now? You use it by tying prisoners onto it. A brassiere. So that you're not cold while torturing. As long as the coals don't burn, they're of no use to me. That looks far. Looks like something was once attached here. A third cage or something. <sighs> Both cages are hanging from the chain. I'm not strong enough to drag them up. Maybe I could attach the tether, but then what? Why should I lock those up? I'm sure I'll need them later. Now what I need...
There's an olive twig protruding through the grate. At least something's alive around here. In this state, Spot would just roll out of the trouser leg. Hmm, and now? The pants are burnt. In this state, he won't. In this state, the pants are burnt. This fellow is beyond repair. I can't reach them. Hmm. I think I could make something out of this. But something's still missing. I guess he suffered enough. I guess he suffered. There's no more. I don't need to. There's a hole. I don't need a hole. There's a hole in. I don't need... I guess... I don't need a... Didn't I produce enough shards? Haven't I... Uh... That's a way... I guess he... I don't need... Haven't I... Uh... I don't... Hmm... I think that's something... I don't need... I don't... Hmm... Now look at that. The pliers fit perfectly in its hand. I'll tie the rope to the pliers. That way, I can use the bone hand as an extension and manipulate the pliers from afar. I doubt he wants it back. I doubt he wants it back. I doubt he... Not a chance. I can't reach them from here. I doubt he wants it back. I can't reach... That'd be a waste of time. The cage is already open. I shouldn't I like it the way it is. Haven't I uh, I shouldn't mess with it. I like it the way it is. There's a hole. There's no more juice in Oh dear, it seems that I really have to destroy everything. Ouch! Heck, I can't get the nails off without a proper tool. I can't get the nails. I'd need a better... No need to. Haven't I... I can't get the knee. I'd need a... Great. Now I have a rack with a hatch and strained muscles. The rack is too solid to be disassembled with... I have a kind of sickle. And I've got nails 
when I don't have a hammer. I could paint something down on the rack with these. But what? The rack is too solid to be disassembled with this. It won't help if anything. The rack has it. The rack has. I'd better leave it. Does it? I'd better leave it. Does it? I can't stretch anything out here. The bucket is empty. Didn't I produce enough shards? Of I could pin something down on the rack with these. But what? That could actually work. Maybe I can extract a whispering stone from him that way. He seems to enjoy it. That won't help me get... He seems to en... Well then, brace yourself and go. It's gonna hurt me more than you, buddy. Well, not in a literal sense, of course. Uh, how about that? The Whispering Stone! Finally, I've got it back! The Whispering... Finally! Ah! There's a hole in... Mm, the cranks... Uh, possibly... And I hope I did for cranking... I could paint something, but what? This fellow's beyond. I can't read. Grandpa used to rhapsodize about this little shrub. Seems to be all that's left of it. One branch is enough. I don't need any more water right now. I have the Whispering Stone. We could still prevent it from- You still have it? I mean, I've been planning this right, mate. <sighs> but don't- I knew it was a- Right. Your plan was- Don't be hard. I'm proud of you, after all. I don't need a hole in my- I think that would just- cow really looks like it has to be milked, but as long as I don't have a good reason, uh, she- Ah, how pro- You might have- Always-
I believe I could. I'd better have. That's a still. Grandma used to employ one to make booze from river elves. The handling is quick. You put something in there you want to distill, then you heat the glass bulb. Okay, bed for me. I don't feel like I'm super stuck, but I'm also not progressing super smoothly easy. There's no more ju- There's no more ju This fellow has been locked- <laughs> I guess he's so No, that's not ha- I guess he- I have a kind of sickle. I don't need a hole. There's a hole. I simple. Mm -hmm. The crank. And I hope I don't go out on a limb. It's for.
Yeah, off to bed for me. Got about an hour or so in. Not bad. <laughs>